Hello again and welcome to this COVID-19 update for you and your community right here in the beautiful Bass Coast, brought to you by Bass Coast Health. Today, amongst other things, we're going to talk about the preparedness of the workforce at Bass Coast Health to deal with coronavirus and the risk to older people in aged care. And to talk about those things and more with you is Dr. Renee Kelsell, Chief Medical Officer of Bass Coast Health. Hi, Renee. Hi, how are you going? Good, good to have you back. Thank you. So, Renee, we often hear about numbers and community transmission. What exactly is that and why is it so important? Okay, so community transmission is um, the transmission of COVID-19 within the community where we can't trace back where that person has come from overseas or they've come in contact with a positive case of coronavirus mm -hmm. so that they've picked up the condition within the community maybe from something they've touched or someone they've passed by in the community, but we haven't been able to locate it exactly back to the person that they've come in contact with. And uh, it's necessary to find out the source of coronavirus when it's detected, because that means other people may have been in contact with it. That's exactly right. So the government has a contact tracing procedure where they go and find all the people that the person that has been confirmed with coronavirus has, who they've come in contact with for that period of time. All right. Hmm. Uh, let's talk about the preparedness of the uh, medical workforce at Bass Coast Health. Uh, what doctors do you have and uh, what expertise do they bring to help us through this pandemic? Fantastic. So we've been doing a lot of work getting ready for the pandemic and we've employed a lot of extra staff with specific skills that will help us through this pandemic. So some staff include an ID physician by the name of Rashmi, who's been providing some expert advice about infectious diseases, including COVID-19. The other staff that we have are several um, specialist anaesthetists on top of our um, already established staff with our general practitioner anaesthetists. And these combination of staff provide expertise in safely caring for people if they do have severe COVID-19 and require a breathing tube. All right and of course um, we're in a safety zone and a safety feeling now. Um, there is still winter to go through and the hospital is still preparing for anything that could happen and we should feel very grateful for that so well done. Thank you. Um, you are also a geriatrician. Uh, aged care facilities have been in the news a lot lately. What is the risk to the age of COVID-19? So people that are over the age of 65 are in the, the highest risk group as far as complications from coronavirus or particularly have doing uh, worse from the coronavirus. So. People that live in aged care facilities are at increased risk compared to older people that live in the community because of the close confines that they live in. So Bass Coast Health has been taking a really conservative approach where we've spoken with all the families and patients that we have living in our aged care facilities mm -hmm. and coming up with an approach that is um, keeping the safety of the patients at the, the highest level. Uh, you haven't decided to uh, relax those visitation uh, limits yet. I'm, I'm sure that they're on the cards, but you are being careful, aren't you? Absolutely. And the reason we're doing that is we want to protect the patients that we have living in the aged care facilities and make sure that uh, the risk to them is as low as possible so that we don't end up with people um, becoming severely unwell and need to go to hospital or we're still dying from coronavirus. Right. Uh, as we know, there is no vaccine or cure for uh, coronavirus. It's important uh, not to self-medicate to try to prevent or cure coronavirus. Um, that can't be stressed enough, can it? That's exactly right. So we don't want people going out and trying their home remedies. Um, the best things that you can continue to do is wash your hands for 20 seconds or longer to keep doing with the, the physical distancing that's been recommended. So I think some people have started to feel like they can relax those physical distancing. It feels like yeah. it a bit just in the community <laughs> presently, I must Absolutely. say. Absolutely. And we, we really want to stress not to do that because that is the biggest thing that we can do to try to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Right. So uh, still stay to yourself and until uh, stage three restrictions are eased, we must continue to abide by the rules. That's exactly right. Any other advice for us uh, today, Renee? 
Coming into winter, it's very important that we all um, consider getting our influenza vaccine. Um, and the reason for that is that we know that influenza also leads to people becoming unwell and needing hospital admission. So mm -hmm. one thing is we want to reduce the impact on our healthcare services. So if we have a lot of people needing admission for influenza as well as coronavirus, then the strain on the system is much higher. But also because we want to protect the community from getting influenza as well. Um, and so we know that that's something we can vaccinate against. And so preventing people from being unwell from coronavirus and flu vaccine. Um, influenza together is the best approach. So if there's someone that's never had the flu vaccination before or it's been a long time since they've done so, what's the procedure? So the best thing to do is to see your general practitioner mm -hmm. who can advise you about um, the risks and benefits of the vaccine. Great. A wealth of information. Thanks for being with us today. No worries. Thanks for having me. Dr Renee Kalsell, Chief Medical Officer for Bass Coast Health. Thanks for joining us for this edition. Keep sharing us on Facebook and until I see you again, take care.